My name is Robert Clayton. My wife and I, we came from Memphis, Tennessee in 1943. We opened up the cleaners in 1945. As of today, I'm still running that cleaners. Last year, I found out that I had diabetes. When I walk into the church where I joined when I came to California, it makes me have a good feeling. My parents and our whole family, we've been living in that church for over 40 years. I got married there. Uh, my children were baptized there. So we've had a long relationship with the church as part of our community. It's an extended community. I saw Daddy standing in the kitchen drinking water, and he couldn't stop. He just mm -hmm. couldn't stop. He stood in the kitchen, and he drank like 10 glasses, one after another. I knew that was way more that excessive thirst. You know, and I knew that was one of the signs, and I knew that it was time to go to the doctor, so we went. We went that night. You call the troop when something go wrong, you know. I call everybody in the family. And they um, ran some tests, and they reported that his sugar level was far too high. I believe it was 500 or something like that. We just started reading books and asking questions and talking to people. Stop all that gossip and get the food on the table so we can get going. And uh, they said that he needed to enroll in a class. So he enrolled in the class and we all went to the class to take it with him. My father tends to hear what he wants to hear. He continued to have one little piece of candy at night because that wasn't going to bother him. So I rescheduled another appointment to re reiterate what he could and could not eat. I then followed up and took my mother and father to the market to demonstrate there is a method of buying food. You need to know the position where it is, if it's in the fifth position. Remember they taught you that in the class? Yeah. They also taught you there were synonyms. There are certain things that don't necessarily say sugar, but they are sugar. No, you can't have any of those cookies, so oh, let's just yeah. keep going. I like these. No, no, no. No, Daddy. My wife and my that daughters, they stay right on top of what I eat, what I drink. I like these apples here. They're nice. And uh, they make sure that I don't eat things I shouldn't eat. It's something that you can take care of yourself by eating the right type of food and the right season that you should have. Taking care of yourself is very important. And God, we do thank you for having this beautiful family of mine. They've always been at my side. Mama, you don't have a plate. These black eyed peas are pretty good. Oh, yeah, they pass my plate around. Oh, that's fine, God. Above all, the bottom line is you need a good family to stand behind you. And with the help of my wife and my daughters, I feel very good about myself. I appreciate everything they do. My beloved wife makes sure that I eat the proper food. Thank you, Father, for giving me a beautiful wife and a lovely family. Kiss the bride. Shut up. <laughs>